a common illness that can occur in children and adults, especially preschoolers. Children with HFMD will have blister-like rash on their hands, feet and buttocks. They will also have mouth ulcers and may develop a fever. In addition, the child may also have a sore throat, runny nose, vomiting and diarrhea. HFMD is spread through direct contact with mucus, saliva, stools and fluid from blisters. HFMD is usually mild and most children will recover in about a week's time. In very rare situations, the virus can affect the brain and heart. There is no specific treatment for HFMD. If your child suffers from HFMD, your doctor will give medications to control the fever, if any. Antibiotics are ineffective given that this is a viral and not a bacterial infection. Although your child may not have a good appetite due to difficulties in swallowing, you should still encourage your child to take as much oral fluids as possible to prevent dehydration. Offer your child small amounts of fluid such as oral rehydration solution, rice water, barley water or clear soup every half hourly throughout the day. Practice good general hygiene to prevent HFMD. Wash your hands immediately after contact with a child with HFMD, after diaper change and before handling food. Prevent other children from coming into contact with personal items such as toys, books, eating utensils, towels and clothes used by an infected child. An infected child should not be allowed to go to school or childcare centres and other crowded places until fully recovered. As HFMD can be caused by a number of different viruses from the same enterovirus family, a second episode is possible. While the general practitioner or polyclinic doctor is able to manage the majority of the HFMD cases, please seek immediate medical attention if your child develops any of the following symptoms. Poor oral intake of fluids, unable to swallow or vomits persistently, dehydration, appears lethargic, drowsy or irritable, crying persistently or disoriented, occurrence of seizures, difficulty in breathing, pale looking, acute headache or dizziness, neck stiffness, chest pain. If in doubt, please consult a doctor and remember to take care of your child's personal